What is crackalacking? What is crackalacking, everybody? Welcome to something new. I've decided to play the vampires mod. The last mod I played was mystical agriculture. I like to do this thing where I just download one specific mod and see what I can do with it. Because I've played big mod packs before, and it's usually kind of confusing even where to start. So I thought I'd just learn a bunch of mods by doing this: play a world, see how far I can get with one mod, and I think it's going to be really fun. Now, I have the Vampirism Guide here. Now, it did not come with the mod. I am playing with 1.60.5, so I don't know if it changes for 1.19 or where that's at, but I actually had to download a different mod in order to um, to get the guide itself. Let's see what, it, what it's called. Um, um, the Guide API for Vampire... I guess that is probably stands for vampire, but uh, I had to download that to get the book itself. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's in later versions, but uh, just in case you're wondering, like, how do I even start? This guide helps, and uh, you need that uh, mod. Now I want to be a vampire, not a vampire hunter. I uh, kind of love vampires. I mean, vampires are sick, right? But um, ooh, I don't know why. My, oh, it's because I'm at like 29 chunks for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I have um, Optifine, obviously, because uh, that's where it's at. That's where, that is where it's at. Optifine is the best. So, I read through this, and the first thing you need to do to become a vampire is either get bit by a vampire itself, or to find some vampire fangs and stab yourself with them. So that's probably the first goal. Or cut down a tree. Either way, now these are vampire hunters. When you're a vampire, these guys are going to be dangerous. But I think, hey, leave me alone. Why is, oh yeah, auto jump. Anyone else hate auto jump? Off, oh, Jesus. That stuff's so annoying. I think there's actually like a vampire ba a hunter base. Maybe they have some vampire fangs? Because that would be sick to just get them right off the bat, huh? Hmm. I don't see anything like that. How about you? Nah. I guess I'm going to have to find a vampire. Well, that means the first thing we're going to need to do is probably build up some gear. Because uh, I feel like if I fought a vampire how I am right now, I'd die. Like, bam. Dead. I, I don't know how strong they are, but I feel like, you know, in, in our society, I know personally, I probably couldn't beat Dracula unless it was daytime, you know? So, um, I'm gonna go, you know, start. Okay, I've decided to record because apparently we're getting raided. Um, these aren't vampires, right? That's a vampire for sure. Okay, I got bit. I got bit. My goal is to get bit. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. An iron golem's gonna kill me if I turn into a vampire. Well, first you get the disease. I didn't seem to get it, though. Is that a vampire or a vampire hunter? Clearly not a vampire. Right? You, bite me. I mean, I got bit. Wait, I'm not a vampire, though. Why would a vampire hunter attack me? That's strange, right? Hmm. Huh. Maybe just because I'm not part of this village? But it's very weird. You would think a vampire hunter wouldn't attack a normal vampire. Can I sleep? Okay, guys. I am now officially have uh the disease the disease that makes you a vampire uh they don't attack me yet i'm in that awkward stage of a vampire's life when we're not technically a vampire but like almost you know and um well i'm moving away from the village a bit because uh if i turn to a vampire which i think could be any second now 
Um, the Iron Golems will slaughter me like a... They'll just, you know, slap me. And that is not safe. <laughs> but uh, I've started packing these cows in. This whole... Well, the plan is for this whole thing to be packed. So if you did not know in this pack you need like... I don't know, 500,000 gallons of blood or something. Okay, I just turned. I just turned into a vampire. Now, as a level one vampire, um, the day will uh, it won't hurt me just yet because I'm only level one. But it does affect me. I think it makes me slower. But as you can see, I am now losing blood instead of food, which means these cows are extraordinarily important. Now, those vampires are attacking a village, and I'm on the vampire side. So I'm not going to go over there, because I will be murdered. Brutally. Unless those vampires just come through with a win today, which might be kind of nice. You know? But, uh, I think I lose blood faster in the sun, too. So everything is going to be worse from now on. Everything. Now, the good thing about this is zombies will no longer attack me. And neither will skeletons. Anything undead no longer smells me as food. I guess. Did I just eat that? <laughs> I reflexively ate that, but that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't help me at all. Now I'll just go up to this guy. <sighs> Ooh, what's the control for this? What is the control for this? <laughs> Options, controls. Movement, gameplay, inventory, creative mode, multiplayer, miscellaneous, and vampirism. Suck would be. Okay. Well, that, that makes kind of sense. I'll just drink a little bit. And he, he just slowly goes down. And he gets a little bit scared. But I don't think it should affect him. At all. I think you need a certain amount of blood to kill him and a certain amount of blood to make him a vampire. So. I think they should be good for now. I'm pretty sure. But this means I can just, um. I can just keep breeding them till I have, like, so many. So many cows I don't need to worry about it because during the rituals, the rituals to level up, they also need tons of blood. Which is why you may have a steady food supply of cows, but you may not have a steady enough supply for rituals. Which is why you're going to want a lot of cows, a lot of sheep, a lot of villagers even. Because they have more blood than anything else that I can remember. But all of those, you're going to want a lot. Especially for the last few rituals, because I think there's like gallons, like gallons and gallons of blood you're going to need. So, um, I think I'm going to create some blood containers. Because there are containers that store blood. And, um, you can just bring those with you on trips and stuff so you don't start with death. And I'm still going to fly in this area. You'll probably, probably just see me fly in this area, to be honest. I'll come back. There will probably be a lot more cows, hopefully. And, uh, this area will be pretty fun. Okay, guys, I was just outside and got attacked by phantoms, dude. Phantoms. I totally forgot about phantoms. So I'm actually going to create a coffin. Um, I don't know, like, how you change it from being a bed. Oh, oh, when you're a vampire. Oh, wait, no. A bed is like this. Yes. I'm making a coffin for myself, which means I'll be able to sleep. I think it lets you sleep during the day does not that'd be oh that's a sick animation okay oh well that's oh well um I, 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 I guess I'll just just hide in here until it's it's daytime then go to sleep and hopefully there's no phantoms wow okay Okay, guys, as you see, I've collected a humongous amount of cows, like a ton of cows, and collected some blood. Now, to get these uh, blood bottles, all you gotta do is take a regular bottle and drink, and it'll pour it in a blood bottle. Now, uh, I'm vampire level one, and we obviously want to get higher than that to uh, to get stronger. 
So we're gonna have to make an altar of inspiration. That's how you get through level from level one all the way up to level four. So what we need is a blood container. That's the first thing. And that is this. This. And this. Yes. And then we need wood surrounding that. And just do that. And now you have a book altar of inspiration. Which... I might make it like an actual place for this, but right there. Now, you should be able to just pour blood into this. And that will get you to uh, level up. Now, as you can see, I'm going to need a lot more blood to do the first level. So, I'm going to collect blood from these cows, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I believe I have enough blood now. I think. Yes. Now, you just click on it with an empty hand, and you should level up. Oh! I did not expect the lightning. Okay, that actually surprised me. Can I do it again? No. But uh, as you can see, we now have regeneration for a little bit. I did not know that was a thing. But now we should be able to press... I was just clicking buttons. I forgot which one it was. There's a... There. No, that's achievement. I'm just going to look it up. Controls, vampire, vampire menu P. There it goes. Now we have the skill tree, and we should be able to unlock night vision. Next is regeneration. That's going to be awesome. So now we see perfectly fine at night. Is it turning day? Actually, I, I, I can't tell. Okay. Now, uh, uh, we can do that three more times? No, we're at two, so three and four. We could do this twice more with this altar. So I'm going to collect enough blood to hopefully be able to do that. And then we're going to level up more. Okay, everyone, I've collected a ton of blood bottles. This has been like 15 minutes of just sucking blood. But hopefully it gets me to where I need to be. Okay, can't fill it anymore. Lightning. Yeah. Four hearts, dude. I'm going all out right now. I think it's the last level I can get to. There it is. Now, if I press P, I can go to the vampire menu. I get regeneration, but it's an action. It uh, So I'm not always regenerating, I believe. It's like a button you can press. This one's super cool. No longer fledgling. Oh, it lets you be able to turn into a bat. That is sick. How do I activate actions? I don't know. Um, give, give me a second. <laughs> um, actions, actions. Controls. Um, where is it? Vampirism. Switch vision. Oh, that's cool. Action one is alt plus one. Use actions as R. Oh, that's sick. I don't know what that one is. I'm a bat. I can fly around. Is there an F5 for this? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's sick. Does it have a time limit? I don't think it does. Wow. I'm just I'm just a bat now. Kind of like Batman, except Batman wasn't at all bat-like in any way. And then to go back, I cancel. Or do I press it again? 
Oh, okay. You just go over it again, and you can go back. Okay. Now, uh, let's see how you get past level 1 through 4. Because that's... There are more levels, but that altar doesn't work on them anymore. Um, let's see. Do level 5. Let's get the book out. And how would I get to... Okay. It's level 2 through 4. Altar of Infusion to reach level 5. Ooh, it requires a structure. Let's see what level 5 looks like. Oh. To level up, you also need a few items. A human heart, pure blood, and a vampire book. This is just an empty structure. This is level five, but I need all of those things first. To get pure blood, I know I have to kill a um, a baron. Because I was looking into those earlier. And they spawn in vampire biomes. I don't know exactly where that is. I'm going to have to look that up. And then a human heart. I'm guessing you can take one from villagers, but I'll look that up too. And then the vampire book. I have no clue how to get a vampire book. It's items. Vampire book. Oh, it's just a lootable thing. Okay. I'm gonna go see how to get all of those things. And then try to get them. Okay, guys, the first thing we're going after is pure blood, because there's these weapons I want to make, and I think it'll help me um, kill more of these guys in the future, because we're going to need a lot of pure blood. So that's the first thing we're going after. Now we need to find a vampire baron. Now I found the vampire forest. It is right here. I wanted to make this 
sword. This sword is awesome. Like, um, as you can see, it has 8 attack damage, but uh, it does need to be charged by blood and trained. Using it will let you train, like get further and further in training, and that's why I made it. What you do, you take iron, let's see, um, iron, there's this stuff called blood infused iron. You get a pure blood at any level, and you mix it with the iron, and you get blood infused iron. Then I made this sword called Sword Striker. Striker? No, Blood Heart? Heart Seeker? Yes, I made a Heart Seeker. And uh, the more you train it, the faster it gets. As you can see, I've trained it all the way. And, but we do need a altar. Is it an altar? No. Um, blood. It's this blood pedestal to uh, feel it. As you can see, you just need some gold, some obsidian, and a blood bottle. Um, I think I have all this stuff, so we're actually going to make it. And um, I'll show you guys how to use it. Okay, let's just make another blood container. Just like that. Blood and iron. Okay, can you just drink blood straight into this? That might be easier. I don't think we can. Let's just fill up this bottle real quick. I don't think this is going to power it up all the way, but it might help. I'm guessing I need, yes. I need to just put the blood in there. Put the pedestal on the top. And then I put the sword on the pedestal. Power up my mighty sword. Oh, I have a ton of blood containers. <laughs> and I just drain those. I like the little pluses. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're supposed to be, but it just seems like adding. Adding, adding, adding. Oh, I'm guessing it's fully charged because it doesn't, I don't seem to be out of blood. Do you want to give this sword a name Extinction? Wow, that's that's perfect. I, yeah, I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's a perfect name. Charge 100%, it's trained, zero. So it seems like a fast slice. Oh, it uses every time. Okay, let's go see if we can find something to kill. Uh, so, because apparently the more times you use it, the more trains, right? Yeah, 0% trained. And let's kill this zombie. This person. Okay. No. Don't. Wrong button. Now it's trained 7%. Okay. Well, let's just go around killing some simple mobs. No, get get back here, you you monster. There it goes. Let's kill this spider. Actually, I'm just go around, kill a bunch of mobs, see how strong this sword is after that. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but I've actually done quite a bit. This is the last time I recorded. I don't remember the last the last recording was, but um. I have ton of hearts. Now, I actually conquered this village. I made it a vampire village. I hate these freaking spiders, dude. They're the only thing that attacks me. I haven't had a creeper explode or nothing. Okay, well, I made this a vampire village. As you can see, there is actually quite a few changes. Uh, the ground keeps getting slowly darker and darker, which is really, really interesting. Like, the ground is dying. I just want to see like what happens when it all converts. That's going to be pretty sick. But as you can see, these villagers are vampires. It's really cool. They still do trades and stuff. And there's even unique vampire trades. I don't know why I attacked him. I'm good. Oh, what the? Oh, they don't... They don't... What? That's weird. Uh, Zombies don't usually attack me. They're not supposed to. It's because I'm hero of the village. 
That's weird. But this is a vampire representative. He'll give you tasks. And if you complete the tasks... I see, once I get his one zombie mad, all the ones who saw it get mad. That makes sense. Okay. But, uh, he gives you- I've done a few of them, but he gives you tasks, and they- you get- get cool rewards. I've gotten iron, gold, and there's, like, things like this, these belts that have specific powers that you can put on. Um, usually there's a good part and a bad part. I got one with j just good parts? Yeah. So you can get really cool ones, but... That's a thing, which is really cool. There's another vampire trader, but I can't find him. He's like called a uh, vampire executive or something because he's representative. And then the executive also has like cool vampire trades and stuff. Now, I don't know if these villagers breed because I'm trying to set up a villager breeder so I can get like mending and stuff because these weapons and armor do die. Ooh, and I've got some vampire armor. It just takes, like, wool and uh, hearts. And human hearts are now quite easy for me to obtain. You just gotta kill a few hunters. And there's actually, like, hunter spawn areas. If you find tents around, hunters will spawn there. So I kind of just camped out at one and got quite a few hearts. And then, what else have I done? Oh, the last thing I need is the book. I know how to get everything else. I don't know, you don't even need pure blood on the first ones. Is he attacked now? No, he's good. Okay. You don't even need uh, uh, the pure blood on the f uh, level five. You just need the structure, the book, and the hearts. I've been looking for the book everywhere. Like, everywhere. I found a bunch of villages. I found a desert temple. I just... My loot's being bad, I'm gonna be honest. So, that's the last thing we need, but I think I'm gonna end the episode right here. Just because uh, I'm running out of time, and I want to post this. Kind of excited <laughs> to post this. I've spent days on it, really. Like, hours upon hours. And it's been really fun. That's These episodes are probably gonna be far apart, because there's a lot of researching, exploring, and things I've never done before. But uh, there's actually been no building, which is really weird for a video of mine. But uh, I just love playing this mod. I've been, like, excited, you know. And that's just great. Now, um, next episode, that book. That book is it. Because I do want to level up. Like, that's my main goal is to get as strong as I can before I start building. And uh, to do that, we're going to need the book. So I'm going to go exploring. I might even explore caves because you can find them in dungeons. And that might be my best bet. Just exploring caves. Since I can go into bat mode, you know? It's not very hard to get through a lot of caves. And zombies and skeletons don't attack me. So I just gotta worry about creepers and spiders. Which, when you can fly, isn't really that hard. So, that'll be the next episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And hopefully, uh, throughout the series, we can, we can unlock everything uh, vampires have to offer. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode.